I cannot get over the guns. G'day mate, my name is Margie and I'm an Australian currently living in America. And as you can see, ooh, I'm not at home at the moment. I'm in a hotel because of a bunch of reasons, but basically I wanted to go to the Walmart here that's just down the road. We're in San Diego, California. And one of my friends had mentioned to me that Walmart's a little bit different from state to state. So I thought I would take you guys along with me to show you not only the differences, but also between Walmart versus Australian supermarket stores. Because realistically, Walmart, the idea of it doesn't really exist in Australia. Everything in Walmart is different stores for us. So if you're interested, keep on watching. And don't forget to hit that like button as well. It really means a lot into helping build my channel here on YouTube. So one of the biggest differences at the moment between Walmart in Arizona versus California is... Um, ba -da -da. masks so in Arizona it's not actually optional to wear a mask but for safety and the fact that I lived in Japan for so long I really prefer wearing a mask so I'm glad that California still has this rule at the moment I want to keep myself safe and others safe as well hello Walmart gotta clean the trolley first and be safe so each Walmart is different where you walk in. This one, we are in the clothes section and straight away we have some Americana shirts. Followed by a whole stand of American items for people to wear to celebrate Memorial Day, Labor Day, Independence Day coming up. Just a lot of, lot of days. Ooh, sexy underwear, right next to the baby stuff. Totally makes sense. Something else that's very different for me when I go to Walmart is the amount of locked glass cabinets. They have these in almost every single aisle here for I guess what's deemed high valuable items or items most likely to get stolen. I have never, never, never seen this in any store in Australia, but also not in all Walmarts. So my Walmart in Yuma, Arizona, we don't have any of these glass cabinets at all. Everything is out in the open. But of course, this then leads us to the one section that as an Australian, I cannot get over, the guns. Now, in Australia, BB guns and air rifles are also considered firearms and thus are just as illegal or difficult to purchase as an actual real gun. So for me, yeah, this is incredibly shocking, even just seeing these types of guns in Walmart. And I know that some Walmarts do sell actual guns and some don't. But here we just have fishing rods and even some cute little fishing rods for kids as well. Ooh, hoverboards. Oh, nothing for that price, I don't think so. Now, the meat section in Walmart is definitely something to be desired. In Australia, our sections have way more variety with meats, like lamb, duck, even kangaroo. But unfortunately, Walmarts here just have beef, chicken, turkey, and pork, which is fine. They do, however, have shepherd's pie, a classic Aussie or English dish. And many, many, many different types of garlic bread, even though that's not what it's always called tubs of whipped cream this is something i would never seen before it still blows my mind that you can get a tub of it but these desserts are pretty damn good also in australia corn dogs are called pluto pups and we definitely don't have a massive mexican food section i wish we did yes hash browns even though that's not what they are called here also, fun fact, we call these tater tots potato gems back home. Now, also in Australia, our supermarkets can't sell alcohol. That's for a separate store entirely. So I will say living in multiple countries overseas where you can buy alcohol and food at once is so convenient. I do also happen to love this brand, 19 Crimes, because it's like an Aussie brand and the theme about it is it's based on like all the convicts that got sent over to Australia when it was first being colonized. So I think that's kind of cool and it comes from Australia too. Also the price of wine is basically about the same as it is in Australia. But seltzers, that is something that I never saw until I was in America. Australia cider is really popular, like lots of different flavors, but here it's really just apple cider, that's about it, and then just lots and lots of seltzers. And of course, there's a lock section here for the liquor, which we don't have in our store in Arizona. Oh my God, Bundaberg ginger beer. This is one of my favorite drinks from back home in my state. Ooh, let's check. 
Yes, brewed in Australia too. Yoo-hoo! I love the book sections in Walmart, especially around the West Coast as they have a Spanish bilingual section. And a Bible story section, which for me isn't something I'd normally see in Australia. Religion is much bigger in the States. Haha, <laughs> Zoom, how 2020. Ooh, this book looks good. Yeah, new book to read for Xander. In the trolley you go. Ooh, hello, baby. Okay, the cereal aisle here is nuts. There is so much sugar-based cereal. It's crazy. And these bag sizes. Oh, my God. I've never seen bags of cereal before until moving to America. Ooh, we have a small healthy section and an even smaller granola section. But otherwise, it's just massive boxes on boxes. Even our boxes aren't this big back home. Ooh, in Australia, these are called Cocoa Pops. Same mascots and everything. It's always funny how they change the names. Okay, so this is how big these bags are. Literally half my size. Pop-Tarts! Such a traditional American food. We don't have these in Australia. And around the corner, bikes and balls. Ooh, and a cute pony. Hello, pony. Yeah, I'm totally gonna buy a baby toy for my son. In you go. More American party gear and we have reached the biscuits. Or as in America, I should say cookie aisle. Wait, are these tiny teddies? Well, okay, they are a version, Teddy Grahams. I loved these as a kid. And ooh, Oreos for days. We definitely don't have big Oreo sections like this at all. Tim Tams are our main bickies. Also, this is totally different. We have big bottles for our cordial, whereas here it's like small tabs. And our soft drink aisle, or sodas, is a lot more diverse. We seem to have a lot more different flavors rather than just Coke and Pepsi style drinks. Oil or bedding, mm, which do I want? Or some home appliances, fabric. Wonder Woman, this is stuff that we would definitely find in a separate store called Spotlight. Perfect material for a university toga party. Also, we don't have like Dunkin' Donut coffee or McCafe or Starbucks brands in our stores for coffee. We are big coffee snobs though. I wonder if they're any good. Marshmallows! Whilst these taste the same, I miss the Aussie version because we have a mixture of pink and white ones that are in bags. Also, this is called jelly in Australia. So confusing when it comes to jam sections here. Some arts and crafts. Who doesn't need some good moss in their life? Corn syrup. What the F? Who is buying that? Why, America, does this even exist in the first place? Maple syrups, though, I have come around to. That is not very popular in Australia. Golden syrup is. Ooh, games. How cute. Drinking games, right next to a kid's princess game. <laughs> also, who is Jeff Foxworthy? Good on you, mate, for getting a Monopoly version of you. Magic 8 Ball, tell me, will I become a millionaire? Seems likely. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> So many games. I love it so much. I'm a big games person. Candy. A whole aisle for candy. Nothing else. Ah, the candy aisle. So much candy. But not really like blocks of chocolate like in Australia. Just a tiny Capri section, which is the main chocolate in Australia. And it comes in like a million different flavors. Also, we call chocolate chocolate and like lollies candy i love lint though so definitely getting some of them and more pop tarts what the they need two aisles and cereal too i guess there's enough sugar in them to be in the candy aisle Ooh, tootsie rolls i haven't had them before all of these we would call lollies in australia pocky oh i miss pocky from japan but at least there's three flavors here in japan though there's about 20. 
beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. Maple bacon, what? Yeah, we really just have like plain baked beans usually in Australia. Oh my God, Milo. I love this so much. It's like a traditional Aussie breakfast drink. Yay! But is it real Milo from Oz? Let's check. Nope, Columbia, it's a fake. Run away. Bluey, da 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 da. I'll save you. What the hell is the difference between jam, preserves, and jelly? I will never understand. Bagels, oh man, I have been converted. I never really ate one until I was in Japan, and I love them. And the States has so many types. Also, America has a lot of unique pastries like honey buns and cinnabons and bear claws that I had never had before. Honey buns, though, are my favorite. I love these little red solo cup shot sizes, but I'm not as much of a party girl now as I used to be. So, nope, don't need them. I love that there are beer pong sets, though. That is such a brilliant idea. Some paint, perhaps? A fan? A laptop? We got it all. Even sparkly shoes that definitely won't fit me. Thongs! Or pluggers, depending on where you live in Australia. Or I guess in America, flip-flops is what they're called. Kids section. I never noticed before, but the ratio of white Barbies to diverse Barbies is pretty damn bad. Like there's a token one or two Barbies of color, but yeah. Do better, Barbie. Come on. Okay, I need dinner. Salad it is. Dollar Shave Club isn't just a subscription box. What? Hello, Spider-Man Pinata. I see you. Uh, what is going on here, Walmart? Weird. And classic COVID items have replaced candy items at the checkout. <laughs> well, time to go. Thanks everyone for joining me as I sort of ran through Walmart here over in San Diego. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what you think maybe is interesting about American stores or Walmart compared to any other store around the world. Bye!